I am fighting a guerrilla war. In a way that's been called genocide. 20 years ago, these same Satibi rebels took over the South. They massacred tens of thousands, and they would happily do it again. I'm trying to impose order. I'm trying to prevent a genocide, genocide. My own son, my youngest, he is a student here. He hasn't spoken to me in years because of what he read in your newspapers. But what he read is not true. What about your youth labor league? Ah. There. I was at fault. I hired men who, in their zeal, stepped over the line. And there were abuses. But that will not happen again. Inject my IV with an air bubble. What are you doing? I will have another heart attack. No one will know. Let it go. You tell my colonel I'm a sick, dying old man who can't be trusted. I didn't say... You were trying to put a gun in his hand and point it at my head. The gun is now in your hand. That is a practical difference, not a moral one. If you want me dead, then pull the trigger. It is not so easy when you have to do it yourself. I guess I didn't want you dead. If you touch my wife again, I'll kick your ass out into the street. I don't care who you are. I did her a favor. I showed her her true character. She's a better person than you are. She is too weak to act on her beliefs. That is not her fault. Most everyone is. Even my own advisors, my own colonel. All they do is negotiate and debate and sign treaties. They are appeasers. All the while we are beset by assassins and traitors, the scum. The cockroaches? What are you going to do about them? What is an enemy to you? Some younger physician who covets your office? In my world, there are dangers and bloodshed and death. And that makes you a man. And men make choices. And your choice is to send bands of drunk, crazed children to massacre an entire people? Don't ask me questions you don't want to know the answer to. I saved your life. I deserve to know what you're planning to Whatever do. Whatever it takes to protect my country. We need a blood sample. We got to do the anti-centrivir antibody test. It'll show House is right. It's scleroderma. Why are you doing this now? Because I didn't want to kill him. And you're right. I have to take a side. So I'm going to do what I can to keep him alive. I'll get you the blood. O2 sets down to 88. Going through the main stem bronchus, just the right upper lobe. Get them out of here. No! It's OK. Bleeder. Cauterizing. Got it? Yeah. Get the paddles. Going back in. What is happening? He's bleeding into his lungs. Charging. Another bleeder. I can get it. Hold on. There's a third. God, there's a dozen. Shock him. Clear. Charging. Clear.
Went down to the morgue to rerun the antibodies test. You ran it twice? Turns out I couldn't get in. They had an armed guard. But I saw this. It's a sign-in sheet from the morgue. Your signature. 9.45 this morning. It's right before you guys ran the test. What were you doing there? Follow up on a clinic case. What case? You think this is really important? One of the patients in the morgue was a 70-year-old woman who had scleroderma. You and Cameron, if you took that woman's blood, you could have messed up the test results, so we treated the bile for the wrong disease. Cameron had nothing to do with it. You son of a bitch! He was going to kill the Satibi. Every last one of them. I don't care what he was gonna do. He came to us and put his life in our hands. All the good we've done. Every life we've saved, it would have meant nothing if we just sent him off to kill hundreds of thousands of people. Look at the news. The moderates are taking over. This hope for peace talks. You tell the world that I faked this test, Dabala becomes a martyr. The massacres begin. I'll cover this up. I become your accomplice. You think you can guilt me into that? If the cops are going to come for me, please warn me so that I can tell my wife first. You really think you can kill another human being without any consequences to yourself? Ah. You also need to prepare President Dabala's case for this week's morbidity and mortality conference. Oh, unfortunately, I'm overdue a Manny Petty appointment. Not you. Former's department. Oh, right. Well, he's got all the time in the world. We made the wrong call. He died. There's nothing to present. But obviously garnered a lot of curiosity. And we don't have more important things to do than satisfy everyone's idle curiosity? It's not idle. The question of how we deal with two possible diagnoses whose treatments are contraindicated is worth discussing. Just keep it clean. Simple. We did a test that called into question our initial diagnosis, so we changed our mind. And if they ask how the test was done? Why would they do that? It's a routine lab test. A routine lab test don't involve blood. You stole from a corpse to trick me into giving the guy the wrong treatment. Yes, and if you brought that up, it'd certainly make for a lively debate about the morality of murdering murderers. But since you burn the only evidence of that... To cover for you, not me. You're protected. The decision was a coin flip. There was no right or wrong answer. The body's underground, 8,000 miles away. Nobody can prove anything. That room will be filled not because of a coin flip, not because of the patient, but because House's department screwed up. They're going to be like sharks in a chum-filled swimming pool. And there's no way I'm jumping in unless I'm in a steel cage. So what do you want? I want to know you have everything covered. There's a problem with the Dabala m, &M. The HDL numbers on one of his early blood panels don't match a later panel. That's weird. Yeah. It's no big deal. Cholesterol didn't have anything to do with his death, but, you know, after being let go from Mercy and then that thing with the 13's drug trial, Foreman's paranoid about people questioning the way he handled the case. Well, that's ridiculous. If anything, Foreman should be feeling secure. He's the one who had the right diagnosis. We're the ones who talked him out of it. I know. Don't tell him I told you. He doesn't want to show any signs of weakness, especially now that the house is claiming he wants him to stay in charge. All right. I gave him statins. What? If they ask about the cholesterol, just say I prescribed a statin and forgot to put it in the chart. You want to solve a problem in the records by creating another problem in the records. It's not a problem with the records. It's a problem with my record keeping. There's no way anyone can prove me wrong. How'd you get access to the statins? You gonna get someone in the pharmacy to confess to yet another record keeping problem? I saw an open cart, just took it. 
Why would you steal a drug you can just as easily ask for? Because I'm trying to get you off the hook. A story that raises more questions than it answers only puts the hook deeper down my throat. It's all right. I'll handle it. How? By telling the truth. We need to talk. Unless it's life or death, it's going to have to wait. It's about Dabala. Let me rephrase. Unless it's a current life... Foreman can't present the case at the M&M. I know you guys are busy, but he's just going to have to suck it up and make the time. It's not the time. Then what is it? The anti-centromere antibodies test, the test that causes to change treatment from blastomycosis to scleroderma. It, it, it wasn't... Wasn't what? Dr. Cuddy, they need you in the pediatric ICU. Who's they? I don't know, but I think they're lawyers. If you guys screwed something up, just come clean. It's not gonna be that bad. some bound chromium supplements. It was right on top of the fire. You don't know about it? No, been here all night. One of Dabala's previous docs was prescribing ultra-high doses of niacin bound chromium to boost his HDL. So? So it gives us something to point to. We can explain the Y variation between the HDL numbers. We're safe. We're covered. You really didn't request the info? No. And obviously, you didn't either. Which means... How'd you find it? Fat old black guy. You know, he had to be taking something for his cholesterol. And what now? I'm not the boss. You don't think I should be fired? Why? That will ever be treating a genocidal dictator again. Better a murder than a misdiagnosis. Whether you want to be in charge or not, you are. And you always will be. I could have sworn I saw you put it on this morning. It's been the locker room. I'll be right back. Chase is lying to me. And I know you know. Tell me what's going on, please. I'm going to tell you the same thing I told him. Talk to your spouse. Gamma survey revealed no tumors. So it's not bone cancer. Where's Chase? Don't know. Hmm. Two mysteries. Cool. Sleep at home. So I didn't do the gamma survey. Was it bone cancer? No. You should congratulate me for not wasting your time. Are you getting some help? Or is this the way things are going to be from now on? You know, what's pathetic is you haven't gotten help because you want to feel bad. You want to suffer. Because if you feel guilty, then you're not a psychopath. The patient needs some carbamazepine. No, I don't care how much that room scares you. You're doing your job. How long before you cross this one off the list? A couple of hours. You ever shoot anyone? Twice. You ever kill anyone? No. I know a few guys who did, though. Did they ever get over it? Captain, I know, compares it to taking out the trash like it's nothing. Other hand, I got an ex-partner who nearly drank himself into oblivion. 
Did he get help? Yeah. Help didn't help. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. <laughs> Take your time. How long has it been since your last confession? I killed a man. Oh? But it was the right thing to do. Who lives or dies is not your decision to make. Sometimes in the operating room it feels like it. I'm a doctor. Well, then you should know more than anybody that every human life is sacred. Why? Tell me what's sacred about a dictator that kills hundreds of thousands of his own people. What is sacred about a doctor who kills a patient? Is it just the slippery slope you're worried about? I'm afraid that forgiving me for killing the worst person on earth sets a bad precedent? I promise I won't tell anyone. Just forgive me. Saying ten Hail Marys isn't going to do you any good. Then what do I have to do? What does God need me to do? You can't have absolution without first taking responsibility. You have to turn yourself into the police. What, well, and go to jail for the rest of my life? What's just about that? I did the right thing. There has to be another way. You want absolution? I've told you how to get it. He's been missing for eight hours. Robert Chase. C-H-A-S. Hey! Never mind, you just walked in. Sorry. You could have called me. I, I forgot. To call me? It's two in the morning. Where were you? You're drunk. All right, I... I needed to get wasted. I did. And now I'm better. What aren't you telling me? Nothing. He's an ass. Contrast is running. She already thinks I'm cheating on her. Maybe this is House's way of telling you to talk to her. Sure. How was your day, honey? By the way, I killed someone. If I tell her, that's dumping a burden on her forever. Okay. <sighs> Two days away. You think I should pack Bali? You can't leave. You lit a fuse, you need to watch the bomb go off. The bomb was gonna go off in its own if you kept quiet. So now you either have to come up with a convincing lie or tell her the truth. Your choice. Chase went to the gym five times this week. Okay. One of those times I followed him. What? I followed him. And yes, I know how humiliating that admission is. Where'd he go? The gym. That time. But I know that something- I'm stopping you right there. This is a conversation you should be having with Chase, not me. I've tried having this conversation with Chase. No sign of tears. It's not bulimia. Is he having an affair? No. I'm sorry. I don't know why I always suspect the worst. If you say you're not having an affair, you're not having an affair. Oh, God, you are. I'm not. Okay, sorry. Again. <sighs> if you don't want to tell... Okay. But I could help. Whatever this is, it's eating away at you. We could get past it together. I love you no matter what.
We lose patience sometimes. One of those patients, Tabala, we didn't act, we didn't actually lose him. I killed him.